There she is, all loaded up. Oh, hey, hi, I'm Jalen Johnston. Welcome to day 15 of VEDA 2013, vlogging every day in April. I am headed back down to Los Angeles on that beast right there. My KLR 650. As you can see, traveling on a motorcycle has um, some packing constraints. Got a dry bag there full of clothes. Got my valuable-ish things in there because that tail trunk locks. Got some uh, random ride-related stuff, extra gloves and layers and stuff in the tank bag. And I'm ready to roll, man. I actually left a lot of the stuff um, that I had previously taken down in my car. Just left it down there, so it's not too bad in terms of the things that I need to uh, haul down with me and stuff. Uh, so eventually, I'll have to bring the bike back up and then get the car again and uh, get all the other stuff back up uh, back up here. It's a little gloomy, a little bit gloomy, um, which means the ride won't be number one as scenic or number two as comfortable and warm. It's like 65 degrees right now. Once you get on the road and you've got highway winds and stuff, you wind up, uh, the temperature with the wind chill factor drops about 10 degrees. So it'll feel like uh, about 55 degrees through my jeans. But, uh, you know, it's doable. It's totally doable. What do you think, I'm a sissy? California. It's great. This weather's perfect. How are you out in uh, Montana with your snow? Is there snow in Montana? I don't know. Oh, look at that. There's a crane on the little lake down there. Everybody maximize the window. Go full screen and you can look and see the nice white crane on the little pond that the neighborhood folk call Grandpa's Lake. Yep, there's a neighborhood. I'm out! Here's what I look like in all my moon gear. Got my boots and my jacket and my helmet and my gloves. I just recently discovered that uh, these gloves, these Alpine Stars gloves, the thumb portion is just thin enough that it will transmit to uh, be able to touch screen on the iPhone, which is pretty cool. Bike's warming up. I'm getting on it. Bye. Well, I made it to LA on the bike, safe and sound. As soon as I got off the bike and opened my laptop at work, I was reminded why being safe and sound in a city is such a big deal. This Boston Marathon bombing is, it's just, uh, it's heartbreaking. And I uh, immediately was met with just post after post after post on all the social media platforms of people whose thoughts and prayers and hearts are going out to you in Boston. And uh, it was so overwhelming, and so many people sending their love and sending their thoughts and their support that I almost didn't post my own message of support and solidarity. And uh, then I kind of slapped myself around a bit and said, no, you know what, this is, this is exactly what should be happening. There should be this outpouring. Uh, there should be this much redundancy in people's feelings and in people's hearts and in people's actions because this is the appropriate response whenever some asshole decides to uh, ruin ruin a day, ruin an event, ruin a, a time-honored tradition. Um, Boston, I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I know a lot of people travel uh, to different cities to do these marathons. So, in the midst of the chaos, you travelers, I hope you're finding some sort of uh, sense of home, the comforts of home. Uh, I hope you're with your loved ones and, uh, and holding them near. Be well.